So as requested on Instagram, people were interested in seeing a new uni room tour for my second year slash sort of a house tour. Um, I'm also going to include maybe a food haul because I've just done my first food delivery. Um, I shop at Tesco at uni. Um, I don't know if it's one of the cheapest places but it's sort of middle of the road. So I will show you my room and then I will show you the rest of the house and I'll end on a food haul in my kitchen. Right, so this is what you see when you come into my room. It's quite a big room, it's like a double size room, double bed. Um, I didn't even realise until a couple hours ago I actually have under bed storage which I had no idea about so I'm going to move a few things um, under there. So this is the back of my door. At the moment I don't have anything in these little pockets but I find these really useful, uh, last year especially. Um, being in a studio I just put all my bathroom stuff in here so that I could literally just take it out whenever I like and then go into the bathroom which is just in there. Back to my door I've got just two dressing gowns, my main little bag that I use on nights out and my denim jacket because at the moment it's warm-ish um, so I've been wearing that a lot. It then came with a mirror which is actually quite nice however I did bring my full length mirror here it's a really big mirror as you can see and I put some lights around it as well because I like to make it homely with lights then you come here there's a bookcase uh, I've literally just got loads of random stuff I've got all my bathroom stuff here so I can literally just grab it and go I've then got my uh, snacks that I wanted to keep up here if I want to take anything like go and do my popcorn downstairs or just have a few <laughs> nuts when I'm in bed. Then I've got the essential item which is my litre bottle of Smirnoff, some extra bags, school stuff down here and then just toilet roll, random stuff here, Cars Against Humanity. Up there my purse and my keys just to grab when I go and then a nice sign. Come to here, laundry basket, shoe rack, and my wardrobe. Now my wardrobe is faulty this side so I can't use that side. We've mentioned it to the owner just to let them know that that was not me otherwise they'll try and take my deposit at the end of the year. Then up the top I've just got two boxes full of uh, I think, I can't actually remember, I think they're full of jumpers and sports stuff. I've got my tennis racket because I'm going to start joining the tennis society this year and then in my wardrobe literally it's a bit temperamental you have to shove it quite hard uh, coats jumpers simple winter stuff and then I think there's a couple dresses in for like summer balls and stuff so then this is my bed I've got this duvet cover I like really plain covers just to make it nice and simple and it just looks very what's the word monotone um and I just like I like a very bright room and luckily I think this is probably one of the brightest rooms in the house which I'm really happy with um but yeah so it's a double I'm pretty sure I got this duvet why did I get this duvet I think it's either from the white company or somewhere like John Lewis because um, I like to make sure that I have a really nice duvet cover because I do get hot in certain materials this is 100% cotton pillows these are from Ikea I'm pretty sure um, and then I've got I don't know why it's all stained I think that was from one of the storage bags that we used but I've just got like one of these huggy little pillows also this mirror is from Ikea as well and these lights I can't remember where they're from. It would be somewhere like John Lewis. Then I've got another sign here. Have courage and be kind because it's one of my favourite quotes. Um, and I think I literally just ordered these on um, Etsy. The same one with the good vibes only over there. Um, and then I bought the frames separately. It's all really cheap but they just print them off. Um, and then you can get whatever size you like. But I liked them quite big just so they could be a decoration in my room. I've then got this just for when I need to hang up towels and stuff, printer, all of these are just more storage, this is camera equipment and just technology stuff, this is stationery and I think this is more stationery as well because I have quite a lot of stationery. Two main bags that I use are here, my Michael Kors, the tote bag and then a backpack if I want to use a backpack instead of a bag for the day. Right and then this is my main desk area. 
I think it's quite a nice desk. I mean, the chair isn't going to be great for my back, but I might get a pillow. We'll just use one of those pillows over there just to make it a bit more comfortable. Um, big, are they bay windows? I think they are. Massive bay windows looking out to the street. So I have my main notebooks here. Stationery, pens and stuff to help with revision. Another little quote. Um, this is just like... I don't know, I'm using it as a decoration at the moment. I might put some alcohol in there eventually, but I kind of just like it sitting there for now. Mirror, my headphones for when I'm gonna go to uni. Obviously at the moment we're at Freshers Week, so I'm not gonna be needing them at the moment. More stationery in here, books, old stuff from last year that I might wanna revise over. And then these jars, I normally fill with like snacks. So I'd have like biscuits or pretzels or I don't know, more nuts or something, just so that I don't have to go downstairs when I am maybe a bit peckish, like late at night. Then you've got this area, which will also have lights. Let me plug them in. So I've just plugged in the lights and I have a little love sign. I can't actually remember where I got this from. It's probably somewhere online, like Etsy or somewhere really like that sells random bits I normally go on. Then I've got these lights, these star lights, which I got for Christmas time, but I just think they suit all year round just to make your bedroom look a bit nicer. They're from John Lewis. Then I bought this little touch lamp. Then I've just got a little coaster. Jewelry here, so it's just quick and easy to grab in the morning. I've got a little candle. This is my favorite flavor, which is, if it will focus, um, black cherry, which I love. Then I've got another little sign. I just like little quotes and stuff in my room. And then I've got pictures. I think everyone has some sort of picture place in their room, whether it's like a pin board or frames like this. Uh, these used to be hung up on my bedroom wall at home, but I thought that I'd bring them along and just make it look really nice. Um, I've still got to change a few pictures, like there's some pictures that aren't in there yet. But yeah. That's basically, I'll just do an overview of, I've turned those lights on as well. The bed, I love my bed, it's massive. It's quite high up as well, which is nice. It's actually a really big room and I'm really happy with it. So next I will do a house tour. At the moment, me and my boyfriend moved in today. I moved my stuff in a few days ago, but we actually officially came together today. So he's just unpacked all of his stuff today. So he's the only one here at the moment. Someone else, uh, one of our friends moved in, I think like a week ago, um, but they've gone home for, to see family before they officially come back for freshers. Um, so the rest of them are arriving tomorrow and it's a five bedroom house, so it's quite a nice number. I didn't want to stick a camera in front of everyone's face tomorrow when they were arriving, so I thought I'd do it today when it's just me and him. So I'll show you the rest of the house now. So you come out of my room and then it's really weird layout, I don't really get it. Another chest of drawers, I haven't even used that. That's like my supermarket bags over there and my towels. And then this is our bathroom. Both of the bathrooms are newly refurbished, which is really lovely. So shower, toilet, sink, pretty much it, standard bathroom. Then you come through this hallway. My bedroom's kind of cut off by a door, but I don't think I'd ever, I don't know, will I ever shut my door? Probably not. Then massive bookcase here. I actually don't know what we're gonna do with that, but just for extra storage, I guess, for people. Ironing board. Then this is another bedroom that no one's moved into yet. So either Hannah or Jordan will have this room, but it's really nice. They're all double bedrooms and double beds. And normally in second year, they'll give you a wardrobe, a desk, a chest of drawers and a bedside table and obviously a desk chair. Um, pretty standard furniture. Then we've got a second bathroom down here, literally exact same kind of design, newly refurbished again. Then this is the other bedroom that no one's moved into yet. I think it's a slightly smaller bed, but it's still sort of a double. I don't know what you'd call it. Four foot three, and then ours are four foot six, I think. Um, but it has got a basin in it, which is really nice. So they can brush their teeth here and stuff. Nice mirror, standard stuff again. Really nice desk, actually. And this looks out onto the back of our house. We've just literally got 
a patio garden outside which is actually kind of good so then coming out of this bedroom it goes downstairs and the front door is here we've got a little mirror here actually quite a big mirror then this is jake's room my boyfriend's room it's probably i'd say the biggest room in the house i mean it's a bit messy already and he's only just moved in today do you want to be in it or not standard stuff again then this is Christy's room um, I'll show you sorry Christy I'm going in double bed it's literally all the same we get all the same furniture and then down here is like a little hallway we've got storage cupboards here and then around here where is it there and then we basically come into the lounge bit now this bit um it's all right the sofas are really comfy but it's just the table thing i don't really i don't really get the fold-up table like they could have literally just bought a cheap like four seater round table which i'm pretty sure would have been the same cost for that but it doesn't matter we probably will all eat in our room anyway all of our um timetables are completely different kitchen quite a big kitchen actually so it'll be good for five of us and we've got fridge freezer and actually i think this is unlocked out here we've got another section no it's locked well in there is basically another fridge and just a section for drying your clothes and where people could put their bikes so now i've shown the house i'm going to do a little food haul literally i've done quite a big food shop but it actually doesn't look like a lot um and this is normally the stuff that i'll buy weekly i kind of keep it quite basic um doing the same meals every week but sometimes mixing it up if i get a bit bored i mean i just want to eat a lot healthier because over the summer i haven't been great i don't normally eat a lot of frozen stuff unless it's vegetables and i like to get fresh products most of the time this is my section here see like i bought a load of stuff and it um filled up two massive bags but it doesn't actually look like much when it's like all spread out so i've got lettuce raspberries strawberries chicken breast um that one's for tonight the rest are in the freezer um so i can just defrost them whenever i like i've got apples oh, i forgot to get bananas eggs normal potatoes sweet potato i love sweet potato and they're obviously a bit better for you um then i've got butter milk cheese mozzarella cheese for salads because i feel like it tastes better in a salad rather than cheddar and then croutons and then i've got some tropical juice for the morning then in this little section here i've just got a few more vegetables so i've got peppers uh lime lemons because i looked up some curries and they use that i've got onions garlic ginger because i like to make um some sort of stir fries every now and then and then red chilies which are for the curries as well as you can see i kind of like to make fresh dinners and not really like microwavable stuff sometimes i will if i like don't have the time or something one night but majority of the time i like to do fresh stuff so in here i've frozen my bagels for the morning if i want one and also my wraps um i will sometimes have a wrap for lunch or whether i have like fajitas for dinner or a chicken wrap for dinner these are all of my chicken i've got a mixture of frozen broccoli carrots and sweet corn and then more broccoli because that's probably my favorite vegetable to have with other stuff see i don't normally buy stuff like this unless i'm like i can't be bothered to cook obviously i would have that sometimes but most of the time i'm kind of more interested in cooking fresh stuff then this is my little section of the one of the cupboards so here i've just got tea i've got loads of spices and sauces nutella marmite for toast if i ever have toast honey i've got brunch bars i've got hot chocolate at the back it's just 
stock cubes, loads of just random stuff that you put in to add flavour and stuff and a couple biscuits. Up there I've got cereal, fruit and fibre which is probably my favourite one that's sort of healthy, not really, but better than having like Cocoa Pops or something. Crisps to have for snacks and stuff more stuff to just add flavour, bean sprouts, love bean sprouts for stir fries, rice, pasta, pasta is an essential, as you can see, Christy over here has um, a shit ton of pasta, then just loads of different teas, well not loads, but normal tea, green tea and chamomile tea, just because they're like sort of the healthiest options and good for detoxes and stuff. Then the last thing I can think of that I've got in the kitchen is these two things here that I bought with me. So I've got a slim body shake um, and some protein. Protein to maintain my muscle when I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna be making sure that I go to the gym really regularly at uni cause I was not as great in first year and I really let myself down and I feel kind of low about it at the moment, but we won't get into that. And then this Slim Body Shake, it's just like a meal replacement thing. I don't necessarily always have breakfast. I know that's a really, really bad thing and I do not recommend doing that because breakfast normally is supposed to set you up for the day. However, I just don't get hungry in the morning. So I usually have this, which is, it says Slim Body Shake, but it's still got calories in it because it's meant to fill you up and make you, not feel the need to eat until say lunchtime or something. I know this is quite a controversial thing, some people don't like it, some people do, um, and I think it actually has helped over summer, like I have seen a difference in my weight from before and after. See, as I said, I don't normally have breakfast, so that's when I will have the shake for a meal replacement, and then I can continue to have lunch and dinner, and sometimes it will even set me up until say two o'clock in the afternoon where I do fancy lunch perhaps or a bigger snack i will never just have them for the whole day like i just don't agree with that sort of routine i mean each their own everyone has different opinions on this some people hate it some people love it um but i have seen results in the past so i have continued to use it but other than that this is where i'm going to end the video i hope you enjoyed the uni house room tour and the food hall i hope it gave you a bit of an insight to what a uni house for second and third year would look like i mean even first year if you don't want to live in uni accommodation so i hope you did enjoy if you want to see more uni videos please let me know because i think these are the sort of videos that i do really enjoy doing i think i might not base my channel around that but i do enjoy these the most as well as like makeup videos and stuff subscribe to see more of me in the future. I hope you did enjoy this video and I will see you next time. Bye!